Hello guys, how's it going? My name is Cyber and I am the Challenger Kha'Zix player on the Little Minka server and I'm also rank 1 Kha'Zix and today I'll be showing you guys how to play Kha'Zix on Wild Rift. So just a disclaimer, I reached Challenger on you know the desktop version of League so I haven't actually played much of Wild Rift. Um, I was waiting for the Kha'Zix release obviously so it released yesterday so I'm pretty excited and I'm going to be playing a lot more Wild Rift and I'll be climbing as well. So if you know if you guys are down to watch the journey of my Wild Rift climbing with Kha'Zix, let me know in the comment section so I'll be making more video, you know, obviously if you guys are interested. So um but no more uh no more being said, let's get started and I'll show you guys the ultimate guide for Kha'Zix. So let's start with this passive. This passive is pretty simple. So every time you're on scene, um you will next auto attack, you will apply a bonus magical damage and you will apply a tiny bit of slow. It's 79 damage right there, but if I auto a few more times, you know, no more magical damage. It's a standard auto attack. But, you know, if I go into, you know, Fog of War, come back, boom, bonus damage. So, it's pretty useful. Uh, so, let's say you're fighting an enemy, right? You go into the bush, reset your passive, you come out. Maybe the actual damage will make a difference, you know? You never know. So, it's a pretty good trick you can do with it. Um, uh, pretty nice passive, in my opinion. You know, the actual slow allows you to change down target as well. Let's move on to Q. His Q is a point click damage ability that will do bonus damage if the enemy is isolated, meaning there's no one around him. And the damage will increase by 110%. So, you know, you just go to the enemy, you click it. It's pretty simple to use. And you want to use it while the enemy is isolated, obviously, because you get more bonus damage. Okay, let's move on to his W. His W is a skill shot. It's a skill shot, and you'll do damage upon landing. And upon landing, there's a small explosion. If you go near to the explosion, you'll get a little bit of healing. So that's pretty cool. Ah, sorry about that. That was just, um, you know, advertisement. But um, yeah, um, that's his W ability. I'll talk about revolution, I mean evolution, um, after each ability. And I'll show you guys each one and what they do. And, and yeah, let's move on to his E. His E is a leap. Pretty much, it's a, it's, a, it's a jump, it's a gap closer you can use. Pretty useful. Um, his R, his ultimate, it's a stealth ability. So upon clicking, you, you enter stealth. And every time you come out, your passive resets. So you actually have to auto attack to use again. So it's pretty useful for, you know, ganking a lane. Let's say, let's say you're in, in the middle bush. You want to gank this guy, you know, you walk up to him. Do your damage, right? It's pretty useful. Or if you're running away. Some cool trick you can do, I'll show you guys later on, but um, that's Kha'Zix's basic ability. It's pretty simple to use, honestly, Kha'Zix is a pretty simple champion, but his playstyle is difficult. The champion itself is not hard mechanically, but the playstyle is a little bit different than most champions, because you rely on the isolation, right? So let's let's move on to his evolutions. His evolutions, evolving Q, will give you bonus range on your auto attack, and your Q. So that's pretty pretty useful, right? You get more range on your auto attack, and your Q allows you to chase down targets and reach people um, a little bit better. And evolving his W will give you three spikes that does the same thing, but addition on that, it applies 60% slow. So every time you hit an enemy with your evolved W, you can apply a 60% slow on an enemy. So it's really, really useful in team fights. So you can slow the enemy. Or if you're chasing down someone, you wanna, you know, they, they can't really run away because you just apply the slow if you hit it. And it's really difficult for them to run away. And next up, let's talk about his, uh, his jump. So evolving his E, his leap ability, you get more range, so you can jump further. And every time you get a kill or assist, this ability resets on cooldown, so you can use it immediately after you get a kill versus it's pretty cool there's a lot of cool tricks you can do i'll show you guys after uh, after the uh, evolution when i talk about you know combos and tips and tricks but after that let's talk about uh, talk about his r let me just reset my level here his r you get nice camouflage you know nothing nothing fancy just you know you change your color pretty cool but um you give you an additional charge of your ultimate and it gives you a longer stealth timer. So you get 2 seconds instead of like 1.25 or something. So you get 3 charge instead of 2 and longer st uh, stealth duration. So this is actually pretty useful. It allows you to reach, like especially in higher low, 
um, it allows you to, you know, just literally walk past the enemy and get to the back line and assassinate somebody. And it's really useful for, like, for example, like right here, you're ganking a lane. You can literally walk into the middle of the lane and without them showing if the bush is not where it is. So it's pretty useful. Um, but yeah, uh, let's move on. Let's, um, I'll show you guys some basic combos you should do with Kha'Zix. All right. So to start, your typical combo is, you know, jump, Q, auto attack. Right, that's your standard combo, but it's pretty slow, right? It's pretty slow. So what you want to do is you want to jump, Q midair, and auto attack as you land. So that's a really cool trick you can do. I'll show you guys uh, in a bit, but basically you can Q while you're in the air jumping. So, th so this allows you to have a shorter combo, uh, combo cooldown and faster DPS pretty much. Like you get more damage on per second um, if you use these mechanics correctly. So you can Q meter, however you cannot W meter, but you could add W on top of your combo. So you W before you jump and you do that. Oh, my bad. Pretty much you, you W, jump, Q, auto. That's your simple basic combo on Kha'Zix. Um, let's move up to what do you do, you know, without jumping. Um, without jumping, you typically you want to initialize with your R. So you press R, you walk up to them, auto, W, Q, and then auto again. And then press your R again, wait for your cooldown, auto, Q. So, your full combo is going to look something like this. And this is pretty cool, because when you do a combo, right? They're able to hit you, but immediately after you finish your combo, you go into stealth, the enemy cannot hit you. So they're literally just sitting right there, a sitting duck, waiting for you to, you know, kill him. So it's pretty cool. That's, um, that's your pretty much your full combo. So to chain it, if you want to start with jump, you do that, you're pressing R again, you know, wait for your cooldown, auto, Q, do stuff like that. Uh, typically the enemy will die because you're assassin, you do a lot of burst damage. Um, yeah, that's pretty much your, your combos on Kha'Zix. Um, from now on, let's move on to tips and tricks. So as I said, let me just evolve my E here. So you guys have a better view of what's going on. So, oh, that's awkward. Um, So you can Q, right, midair. Some tricks you can do is, if the enemy is low, for example, right? You can jump over them, Q, midair, and jump again. That's, that's what we call a double jump. So if you play Kha'Zix, um, before, like, you know, on the desktop version, you might have heard a double jump or, you know, triple jump, quadra jump, like, you know, a lot of jumps you can do. So this is something when you get a kill assist, your jump, cooldown resets, and then you use it again while you're in the middle, middle, middle of the year. You literally do that. I can't really do it here, but, um, you literally just jump over them, Q, and then jump again while you're in the air without landing. That's called a double jump. And you could do like a triple jump, stuff like that, as long as you get assist or kill. So you could even like W, let's say you W and the enemy dies, right? You get a kill. So you W them, you jump, and you can jump again, like literally in the middle, middle of the air. If you want to gain distance, if you want to, you know, run away, stuff like that. There's, you know, if you can use your Q, you can use your W. Unfortunately, there's no TMA in this game, so you can't really do that. Um, but yeah, so that's, um, that's a cool trick. And also another trick is that will, you know, some... Some tricks you can annoy the enemy and it makes them really hard to chase you down. So for example, this dummy is running me down, right? I'm, I'm running away. This direction. I'll fake walking down here. He's chasing me and I press R. I slay in this bush. If this bush is not worth it, he's gonna, he's gonna chase me all the way here. It's like, wait, wait, where did this guy go? He's gonna be confused, right? So there's some line games you can do with your ultimate. And then for example, like if you're running into the bush, right? They're chasing you, and as they enter the bush, you press R, and they they, they walk, they literally just walk through the bush, it's like, huh, where is he? They don't see you. That's a really cool trick you can do as well. You literally just stand still, press invincible, as they push the bush, so they don't, they don't see you. So, a lot of people actually fall for this. Like, I do all, pretty pretty often on my, uh, you know, on my, um, on the desktop version of League. So, um, pretty useful tricks, and also you could do another thing is, for example, if you're um, trying to scare someone, you know, you're running at them, you press R, they think they're, they think you're chasing them, but instead you could be, you know, going for somebody else, like let's say, 
This guy's low, right? The dummy is kind of low. He's, he sees you running towards him. You press R, he's like, oh no, he's coming for me. But instead, you go for this guy, you know? And then you, you kill this guy, you jump back. It's like, oh, he's back. You know, there's a lot of cool tricks you can do. Um, I'll let you guys explore some further more on your own. But um, here's a few that, you know, you can use. And uh, yeah. So next up, let's talk about items and runes. There's really two to three builds you can do. On Kha'Zix, you want to choose whether you want to play Bruiser Kha'Zix or Assassin Kha'Zix. Assassin Kha'Zix, you'll be one-shotting people, you do have a lot of burst damage. However, you're squishy, right? That's the downside. Um, but if you want to play a Bruiser Kha'Zix, you have a decent amount of damage, so you have a lot of damage on SLA target, obviously. And you're more tanky. However, your burst damage is a lot lower. So maybe, you know, you can do a combo and get someone down to like 80% of HP rather than, you know, killing them. So maybe that would make a difference, maybe not. So it's all depending on the enemy team comp and you know what, what your style is. So if you like having more HP, having more time in a combat, you know, you're, you're a little bit less mechanic. Maybe you want to play Bruiser style, so it's more mistake forgiving. But if you're a really mechanic, mechanical player and you know you like one-shotting people and you like to play the bursty assassin style, then you should go for you know the, the full one-shot build. So for the items, let's talk about, talk about the assassin one-shot uh, build first. So for the items, you, want, you just want to go Dustblade, Yomus, and then you can you can you can get a Stasis. Or you know if you're more experienced, you could go for Portal Belt as well to allow you to chase down um, targets easier, right? Or you could even go QSS in some scenario if they have a lot of CC. So I mean that's like option you can choose, right? Um, but the main thing is the items. So you want to get Dustblade, Yomus. Um, Motor Reminder, Umbreo, and in that sense. So these two items will give you a lot of power already. So you pretty much you will be one-shotting any squishy with these two items. And then after that you want to get some armor penetration, right? If they be any armors. Um, and then you want to get Umbreo because you want to stay in the fog. You want to use your passive. You want the enemy to be not seeing you. So you want to, you want to be destroying their wars and try to deny that vision as much as possible. So having this is actually pretty key. And then after that, you want to get some survivability, some R, um, some you know, thirty percent damage taken uh, as a bleed effect is actually pretty useful. Having some defensive stats, um, you know, X3, so you can actually survive the fight better. Because if you honestly, if you go full like damage, you're gonna be one tabbed. Let's say they have an R, they have a mage, they CC you, and you're pretty much at that, right? So you want to have some sort of like defensive stat. So I mean, this is debatable. You could like swap this for GA or something if you want. Um, so last item is really situational, but like the core are these two, and these two, right? That's your item. And the room, the room page. Um, you want to go electric queue for sure if you want to play burst. And for the second one, um, you want to take Brudo, or you want to take Gathering of Storm. So you want, if you want to play early game, right? You want to play early to mid game. You, you want to take this Brudo. Um, but if you want to play late game. You want to take Gathering Storm for sure. This benefit you, benefit you in the long run. It gives you a lot more AD if the game goes on, you know, longer. Um, but these two, there's not much choice. You just go Titan always. Um, even if you play Conquer, Kha'Zix, you go Titan as well. And for the last one, you want to go Mastermind. If you play Jungle, always Mastermind. So, that's pretty much your Assassin one-shot Kha'Zix build. Let's move on to his Conquer Bruiser style. His Bruiser style, you want to get your moves first because you want to get a movement speed beyond the map faster so the first item doesn't really matter um second item you can get black cleaver it's just because black cleaver gives you hp gives you 25 ability haste which is like really huge and gives you armor penetration you know upon hitting people multiple times and it gives you movement speed that allows you to kite around and be annoying right for the uh for this you can you know same thing you can most of the time you want to go stasis just to be safe but you know you could even go portal belt if you want to play aggressive um it's your choice and third item you want to get ga um you could go swap this for maw if they're ap heavy but typically you want to get a guardian angel and after that you want to get that sense and then motor reminder for to finish it off so that's your conquer bruiser um Kha'Zix item set um after that let's talk about rune page rune page obviously you want to take conquer because you will be fighting a lot in the team fight but the second one actually you want to take weakness because your auto attack actually applies this so remember your auto attack have a tiny bit of slow. So every time you auto somebody, um, this will impair them, making them take 5% more damage in the following five seconds. This is actually pretty huge. It's good for ganking. It's good for, for finishing people off. And you know, it's overall, it's pretty good. Yeah, so you, obviously 100% you want to take weakness. After that, you want to take the same thing. So Titan and Mastermind. 
that's basically um the two set you can play right and to add on that if you want to play more you know like you, if you want to have more hp more survival stats you could swap yomus for Sidon to black cleaver and then you swap yomus to that sense so you, you get these two you swap the orders and then for these you want to you want to keep yeah this is fine i think so uh, you want to keep the same order as this so if you want to play like more hp more defensive stats more tanky um this is fine rather than rushing your moves so just really like two and a half way to build kha'zix um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this ultimate guide for kha'zix let me know in the comment section if you have any question or if you guys enjoyed this type of video um you know if you guys watch want to watch me climb let me know in the comment section so i can decide on if i should make some more well worth video for you guys and yeah if you have any questions leave it in the comment section or feel free to join my discord my discord link is in the youtube description as well you can ask me questions there's a dedicated uh, discord channel for raw worth so you can ask me questions i'll answer on there and yeah thank you guys for watching this video i really appreciate it make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye this is cyber signing out